and scary situation to be in, I'm all about making light of bad situations. So without further ado, I present Types of People During a Pandemic. It's probably a stupid question, uh, but, but do you have hand sanitizer? You know what? I think they're downplaying it. I think it's actually the apocalypse. What do you mean beauticians aren't essential? Have you seen these nail beds? They're a disaster! I just can't believe we've got to live like this. It's just so tragic. Oh, don't cry, dude. No, no, it'll be alright. I'm sure they'll find a vaccine soon. What? No, no, I mean the gym's being closed. I just, I can't handle it. Well, well, if we can't shake hands, then how am I meant to greet my boys? You know, they said you're only meant to go out if you're exercising, but they didn't specify where. So I've got my gym gear on and I'm going off to Kmart to do some laps. <laughs> Yes, officer, of course I'm only essential buying. I really needed this mahogany cushion. Yeah, 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 don't worry, don't worry. I'm being absolutely safe. Yeah, I'm not touching many things, you know. Yeah, I'm wearing gloves, so I'm protected. Yeah, 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 absolutely safe. Mm, yeah, no infection on these hands. Flights are pretty cheap at the moment. Did you want to go to Italy? Australians are in outrage against the new restrictions brought in for purchasing toilet paper. No, no, no that's my toilet paper. No, no, I'm not panic buying. I'm just going shopping every day to get the essentials. My long life milk collection's almost up to 25 cartons. Americans are striking against the new gun restrictions, now being limited to only purchasing two at a time. It is my constitutional right. I think I think it's all fake. I don't think it's real at all. I mean, have we seen dead bodies? Have we seen dead bodies? No. Therefore, I don't believe it. On today's special coronavirus bulletin, we have Dr. Martin Kaluluhu talking to us and showing us how to correctly wash your hands. Happy birthday to you. We understand that these restrictions will be difficult, but we are asking for everyone's cooperation and we are urging you all to stay home and be socially distant. However, in saying that, all of the shops are still open. You can go get your hair cut if you want to. So you're free to do whatever you want, basically. If this is what social distancing is, then I've been doing it for years. Day 17 of being an essential worker. I might not currently have a job, but I've got 30,000 followers on TikTok, so at least I've got a backup plan. We ask everyone not to panic. We have got lots of money. We will be distributing it to all eligible Australians, all of you at home. You will be looked after. Oh, you're through the centre link. Sorry about the long wait. I just went out on my Siggy break. My name is Maggie. How might I be able to help you today, John? Scratch that. Now only certain Australians will be eligible. Okay, and you say you only work three hours a week? Okay, you're definitely eligible. Let's just get some details. Numerous celebrities unite to show the world that we're all in this together. Everyone's going through a tough time at the moment and I just wanted to let you know that I am with you. I'm feeling claustrophobic during this time as well. Imagine all the people. Um, I had to close the cafe in my house due to social distancing. It's easy if you try. President Trump causing controversy once again. I, I propose that we look at disinfectant and a method of injecting it into the bloodstream um, to combat the virus. Did he seriously say that? What I said at the press conference is fake news. Fake news. I don't even know what I'm reporting anymore. It's from China. Okay, China. Boys, look, I've got corona. <laughs> I mean, I'm not racist, but the coronavirus came from China, and you're Japanese, so can you get away from me? Okay, we'll catch up tomorrow. I'll see you then. See you guys. I wonder if we have any bacon. Hi, sorry I'm late. <laughs> I got caught in traffic. Karen! Oh, Denise! Oh, how are you, love? Uh, oh, oh, 
stay two meters away from me. That's right, <laughs> social distancing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have any face masks, so I just thought, you know, yeah, this will this will do. Um, it says reusable on the bag, so I'll be able to use it again. Don't mind me, I'm just going on my 17th walk of the day. <laughs> I heard from my friend who, who works in the government that China deliberately released the virus to turn everyone into mutants. Okay, can someone tell me straight up if this is a zombie apocalypse or not? Because if so, I need to go buy cargo pants. Oh, I'm in my underground bunker. I've been preparing for this my entire life. I mean, if you're in self-isolation and you're bored, just go out. Honestly, I'm just so over it. I don't want to hear anything else about it. I've been watching the news for 15 hours straight. Eh, I'm not that worried. I'm sure it'll pass. Declaring it a state of emergency. Huh. Well, this is a bigger problem than I anticipated. That's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I just want to say again that obviously this is all a joke and I don't want you to think that I'm downplaying the events that are happening. Just like everyone else, I really hope it's over soon and things can go back to normal. But for now, we've just got to get by and stay strong and without being too cringy, we've got to stick together because, you know, teamwork's better than one. Well, but that's all I've got for you today. I shall see you next time. Bye. <laughs>